Hello, Terra Nevada Lyceum and hello, world. I'm your host, Dalva, and it's been a couple of weeks since we've done a video reading. We've had some uh, Mercury retrograde shenanigans to deal with, so I'm glad to be back, and I hope everyone has, um, if not having a really great time with Mercury retrograde, I hope you haven't been having a horrible time with Mercury retrograde. So, um, for this week, we are going to be drawing cards from the Wild Goddess Oracle. Okay, and this is uh, Amy Zerner and Monty Farber. I always want to, like, mix their names together when I say them. So, Amy Zerner and Monty Farber. Big fan um, of their work, of her uh, collage work and uh, their interpretations. This was a gift, I think I've said this before, uh, from Joe, so big thanks to her as we uh, get into the reading this week. So I want you to look at these cards. I love this fabulous artwork. All these goddesses, right? Butterflies. Okay. So before we get started, let's take a nice deep cleansing breath in. Release that, let it go, and let it flow. That's what the universe has to say to us today. Or really, what the universe has to say to us. I always say today because I'm doing the reading in a day, but really the reading is for Monday, uh, May 30th, Tuesday, May 31st, and Wednesday, June 1st, if you can believe we're already halfway through this year. So, let's... Something come quick. That's good. Once we got a clear, clear message. Oh, here we go. All right. Hmm. A lot of this is about communication. Surprise, surprise. Mercury retrograde is almost over. We've got until what Thursday. So, Kim, you're all clear. <laughs> Mercury should stop uh, being in retrograde by June 2nd. Of course, we go through the little, you know, period before and after an actual Mercury retrograde before things just really kind of come back into balance. But hopefully, right, knock on wood, the worst is over. So, but our message for the first part of this week, it is about communication. It's about communicating with others. Um, knowing ourselves and what we, um, what our purpose is, what we are communicating to ourselves, what we want to communicate to others, and also ideas. So a lot of this, it feels very um, mercurial. I'll get the word out in a minute. So first one, we have uh, Mercury herself. And some people won't, may want to argue with me. They're like, well, Mercury's, you know, a male deity. Actually, in a lot of... Um, Ancient myths and thoughts, uh, Mercury was considered, or Hermes, if you prefer, uh, was kind of uh, hermaphroditic. It could be either or. Um, he was also a psychopomp, which meant that he could travel. He was one of the few uh, deities that could travel into the underworld. So, in this form, okay, we have the messenger, and it says, I'll show you the back of the card, too. These are very cute. Love the artwork. Love the little back. And it says... Make sure that what is being said is what is being heard. The same words and messages can often mean different things to different people. Okay, so this goes both ways. If you're unsure what someone, what they're saying or what they're trying to communicate to you, um, ask. A lot of times there are certain words that might be triggering for us, uh, that might be um, attached to some kind of trauma or wound or some experience and the person that's using that word has nothing to do with that trauma or that wound or that experience. And you, you may need to clarify with them. And vice versa. You may say something and you meant it in a completely different way um, than the way the person is taking it. I don't really want to get into this whole uh, pedantic semantics. I know people who do that. It's like, this is my vocabulary and my uh, idiom. And this is how I use these words. And I expect everybody else to comply and use the words in the exact same way that I use them. That's not what I mean. And I am thinking about someone very specific when I went into that, but I won't name names. <laughs> but yeah, there are folks out there who are like that. Um, we, we don't have to get that um, strict or that dogmatic about it. Uh, if there's a cultural difference, if there's a regional difference, even, you know, even that can kind of come up. 
um, if there is if there's a word that seems triggery make sure that your communications are clear again we're at the tail end of mercury retrograde um, but this is sort of we haven't cleared we haven't cleared it yet so make sure that what you are saying is what is being heard uh, and make sure that your meaning what you're saying uh, that person is taking it the way you mean it okay and I think this is all kind of leading us to the seeker okay love this love these these bird bird imagery here we got a swan uh, maybe a sparrow but this sort of in the garden almost it's got a little little feel of a an Eve to it right and there's the back of the card it says the meaning of life is to seek ways to give your life meaning doing so with gratitude patience and compassion for both others and yourself so again this has to do with how we're communicating right and understanding that um, certain words may be triggering certain um, words may be triggering for you having compassion for the for other people having compassion for yourself um, I'm also getting you don't have enough information yet to make a choice, okay? So whatever, like there may be a decision weighing on you, you don't have enough information yet. And part of that is Mercury. Mercury's in retrograde. Um, things are still kind of nebulous. There's some of this, um, and I do believe it's retrograding back into Taurus, or it has retrograded back into Taurus, and then when it goes forward, we'll go back into Gemini. Things will get a lot clearer once it starts its forward motion again. So, um... You don't have enough information yet okay and that even may be you don't have enough information yet to uh, know what your next steps are um, that you are seeking purpose but that may your purpose may change it may change many times throughout your life so you just there's not enough information yet okay so don't stop seeking but understand that as of right now you're, you're a little bit of a holding pattern you're still looking and that brings us to the visionary. Hold this up so you can see see her. And it says, developing habits and actions to help you turn your visions into reality will guide you on your path to ultimate success and happiness. This is our action card. This is once we get clear uh, with ourselves and with others, we get clear within ourselves what it is we're wanting. Um, this is time to put our ideas into action, put our ideas out into the world. It may even mean working with the team Okay, or another group of people whose um, skill set is complementary to your own. And, and getting, getting those thoughts out there, getting those ideas out there. Little caveat, don't be too much in your head with this. And there needs to be a balance. There needs to be a, a heart-head balance when you go to present your ideas or when you go to take action on your ideas. You, you need to be in balance. Um, you don't want to come across... And again communicating clearly but um you don't want to be too much in your head that's that's what i'm trying to say you don't want to be too much up here and not have any of this you know communicate it with your thoughts so those that's very interesting it's kind of um careful about being clear with each other but I know that you don't have enough information which you won't maybe not have enough information until things are kind of cleared up and then there'll be this sort of collaboration and putting those, uh, those ideas out there. So, it's an interesting spread here. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, put them down in the bottom. Uh, Kim or I, either one, will be happy uh, to assist you. I hope everyone has a fantastic week. Actually, you all should have today off, if I'm not badly mistaken, right? Today's Memorial Day. Yeah. So enjoy your three-day weekend. I hope you're having a three-day weekend. Um, I can't even keep up with stuff anymore. Anyway, enjoy. Enjoy your time. If you have any questions, concerns, let me know. You all have a fantastic week. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.